Eh, maybe we'll do two more videos. We'll see. Alright, good. A lot of people hate my videos. So, if we had x squared minus 2x equals 15, first thing I do if I'm going to factor this is, well, first of all, I see I could go ahead and take out an x here, but um, it's not in my format, and that's not really going to help me solve for what my value of x is. So, if you took out an x, well, that's not really going to help you because it still has to equal 0. So, um, the next thing I do is, can I factor anything out? And no, nope, all terms don't have something in common uh, with that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set this equal to 0, and I'm going to see if I can factor it. So x squared minus 2x minus 15. I set it, put it into my... Now, we need to go ahead and do our little diamond method which is a times c and b. So a times c is 1 times negative 15, which is negative 15, our b, which is negative 2. And what we notice with this is this one is definitely going to be negative 5. 3 are two factors. Negative 5 times 3 gives you a negative 15. Negative 5 plus 3 gives you a negative 2. So therefore, I just set up. Since this is x squared, I'm just going to have my two binomials to be x times x equals 0. Make sure you remember to put the equals 0. This is an equals. Okay, so all you're doing is you're just rewriting this as a multiplication of two binomials. So that's going to be x minus 5, x <coughs> plus 3. Now, you put it in the zero product property, x minus 5 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. Add 5, so you get x equals 5. Add 3 on both sides, x equals 3. And that's how you find your factor. Wait, why you negative 3? Negative the bottom is that added x plus 3. Oh, I, re I miswrote it. It's x plus 3 equals 0. Right. Negative. Thank you. So your answer would be x minus 3. So that's how you find the root solution. 0 is x intercepts over the quadratic function. How does x plus 3 equal negative 3? Because you have to subtract 3 from both sides. You subtract 3 on both sides. Oh, shit. 